guys, my name is Jade and today we're going to be talking about Days of Blood and Starlight by Lanny Taylor. Twinning! <laughs> this actually took hardly any time compared to how long Torture Smoke and Bone took me. I don't know if you've noticed but I really like this cover. I think it's really 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 pretty. Just I love this, um, the way they've laid out the titles as well because they've kept all the fonts the same and stuff. I like this one. I think I liked it better than the last one. I'm gonna give this one 10 out of 10. It is a continuation from Daughter of Smoke and Bone if you wanna know what that one's about. Um, I would go check out my first one and watch the nine story section so you can get a feel for what it's about. But I'm gonna be talking spoilers from now on. So if you haven't read the book, I would suggest you leave. <laughs> okay, so I really loved the whole kind of vibes and the atmosphere of this one. The whole desert thing. Um, it just kind of created a really fond memory. It was very kind of grungy and rustic and magic -y and awesome. Oh my god. When we found out that she was working for Thiago? <laughs> Thiago. I still don't know how to say that. I'm gonna say Thiago because Thiago sounds weird. When I found out she was working for Thiago, I so mad. Why, why would you work for him after all this happened? And I think once everything was explained, it's fine, but just, oh, at first, not happy. I loved how it took a while um, for us to actually see Karu again, because we have no idea where she is, we have no idea what's going on, and then we get that email from her, and it was so much fun. The beginning with Zeus was so much fun. She gave us that little bit of human that we needed, and how she wanted to pour pee on, I can't even remember his name, but the boyfriend. Uh, that was so funny. It was just such a humorous and interesting uh, beginning to the book compared to the tenseness and chaotic and scariness that the rest of the book will be. And how um, I really loved that Carol like, gave her clues and then <laughs> she's made it her mission to find Karu and she would stop at nothing. Really scared me though when she did eventually find Karu and she went running up to the thing because I had a really bad feeling that the Camaro were going to kill them and just like not allow these visitors or whatever and because obviously they were in the middle of the desert, they were hidden humans obviously can't know about them I really... at first reading the bits about the two sisters and the one with the wooden leg I was kind of annoyed because I was like no, I'll get back to the story, I want to know what happens but you grow attached to them and especially that Dash Nag boy, Ralph I think his name was, he was so sweet and I really hope he comes back. I'm pretty sure he's not back yet because he died didn't he? I was so like, I was really happy when I went to help them but then when he died I was so upset. Like, really upset. The chapters and the quotes really like helped with the atmosphere as well and it was just so much fun to like read the the names of the chapters because they just give you that little humorous snippet of what the chapter is about. Good chapter names always help a book, in my opinion. I love how Akila, um, Hazel and that L chick, Liras, I think her name was, um, they were like on Team Good and they were helping the Chimera secretly and like the birds and the magic and they were on this mission to kill Jiram. I can't remember what he was doing but he was doing something bad. I read something about the misbegotten and I can't remember any of it now but I remember getting so wound up and hating him so much and just thinking you gotta go and then getting really excited that like he was like secretly helping the Khmer and stuff when he finally did get in there and they managed to kill him but then Jerram's like yeah this is what I planned all along I knew this was gonna happen <sighs> I don't like him he gotta go they decided to go to earth because earth will worship them because they're angels I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I need to find out soon. Give his magic when he like did that weird thing. What even was it? It was something to do with the sky and there was a huge explosion and it was big and weird and powerful. Whoa. He good at magic. Oh when Hazel died. <laughs> I didn't even realise how much I liked him until he died and I was really upset and I think I even started crying. It's not okay. He was like the nice one. Why couldn't that Mirage chick die? And how upset she was. Oh, that was horrible when they went back to 
Karu and they were like fix him fix him and then she's like okay where's the what's it called you know the thing that holds his soul and they're like the what you do know how this works right no oh back to how Zeus and Mick joined Karu I loved it when he was playing the music and everyone was dancing and it was like they became friends it was so like I remember them wandering off and being so mad at them because it could be so dangerous but then they ended up like being friends with Karu and it was so much fun they were just too cute, those two, and I loved how she was talking about how she's going to tell grandkids that she can go invisible and like all these adventures she's been on and then they're not going to believe her so she's going to have to go invisible and scare the hell out of them just to prove herself. I just was so mad that she was working for the wolf. I remember when she dropped the tooth down the floorboard and she's like, well I could go get that but I'm not gonna. And then he knocked on the door like two seconds later with the tooth. Oh, and how he was wanting to tea for her, I genuinely believed that he felt bad and it was like, actually, you know what? You're strong, you're powerful, I want you on my team. And that he actually liked her and like maybe even loved her. <laughs> and then I remember being so mad when I found out he was lying to her and that he really was telling everyone how wary to be. And, ugh. and 10, oh my god, I hated her. Just because you can't take rejection. Oh, Ziri, I forgot about him. It was so hard because there's Ziri and then there's Akiba and like I love them both and like Ziri was just so sweet and so nice and I can't decide because deep down I know I want her to be with Akiba but then Ziri, like I really like them as well and just, mm, it's not fair, it's not fair. They just love triangle dude. And how he's in the wolf's body, they need to tell Akiba because he was like you like the wolf now and like I feel so bad Missouri for having to go in there I was so confused when because when the wolf, wolf first came in and started agreeing with her I was like you seriously brought him back to life after all that because I seriously thought she did and then slowly we learned about the plan and like it linked back about how she was digging all night and things like that and just genius I feel so bad for him because she's worked so hard to get his body his the, he came back all blooded and horrible oh my god that it was so horrible and she was like no I can fix him, I can fix him, leave me alone but he killed the shadows that lived people were starting to join her because they realised she was right and then so people do like her he went and killed them all so surely they could tell people that you know she, he tried to kill her and so, then I guess some of them would I don't know it's just a big tough situation those people underground have to come up, God knows how, but they can't stay there. I mean, think of how many more people they would have and they could fight so much more and be so much more productive and like, the majority of their problems would be solved. They need to get them up. However, there are angels on earth, so I think that's going to be, you know, pushed back <laughs> a little bit. <clears throat> and they're just, they're coming together and they're in the cave and <laughs> the look, she was looking at him and he was looking at her. Oh. Oh, this whole angels versus devils situation. <sighs> need Akiva and Karu to come back together, but now at least they're working together. The group of the Misbegotten, I think it was, and what's left of the Chimera. And they're in Eretz again. I have no idea how Earth is going to react to the angels. It's either going to be we will worship them, or it's going to be we're going to hate them all and kill them all and be really suspicious. I'm hoping it's the second one. There's going to be some kind of war between those angels and the rest of them. I loved how she like learned to be a resurrectionist as well and we got to see her get stronger and she's carrying on Brimstone's work and just so proud. When she found the thingy, the, the you know, the, 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 the jar thingy and it had, what's her face in it? Oh, for whatever reason, and it was like, it said Carol on it and I like, oh, I genuinely thought it was Brimstone. Like... Cause like hope, like he could come back and it wasn't and Brimstone's actually dead and I can't believe this. He better come back and drop the last one. Very upsetting as well when she was like waving to Ziri and Ziri was just like ignoring her because he had to because that's what Diego told him to do. And she was like, oh I guess he doesn't like me, the last of my kind. And oh, it was so cute how she thought we protected of him because he was the last of her kind. It was really weird how like Karu had lost her hope that the world can be you know they can be reunited yet Akiva had his again so we can assume that in the next book either they both have belief or neither of them have belief uh, isn't that just wonderful pretty much all of the fight scenes between the angels and the chimera like however they were or whatever the reason they were always got me really tensed up because I don't know who I want because 
obviously I don't want the angels to all die because I keep on all, all the good angels but then we can't have the chimera die either so it's, it's real hard because like there's not a side you can pick neither of them is good it's not like it's not traditional it's just oh oh it's so hard oh I loved the bit where Hazel and Akiva found the chimera into the tunnel and instead of killing them all they like it's like oh there's nothing down here just must have been a bird um and then they like they kept that going throughout the whole thing and that was really kind of when they started like especially Hazel because of course Akiva had been doing this from the start but that's really when Hazel started to like let the chimera go and it was just so heartwarming what do we think I think Ziri's gonna end up with someone else and Akiva and Carol come together. Either that or one of them dies. My knee's like shaking, that's creepy. I have no idea what else is gonna happen other than that. The last one's a hefty one. I'm so excited to read it. Just this world that she's made is so cool and the switching of the point of views and the way it all came together. So planned out and all the pieces are tied together and all the point of views switched around. Just mind blown. I have no idea what the song is. Links below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have an awesome morning, afternoon, evening, slash night. My name's Shade. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bye! I was so mad that she was walking... Bur... Bur... I heard her footsteps and that was really creepy. See, that was shorter. I love how Akiva, Akiva, 